Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chris Ferris. I'm a professional rider for Mad Gear Pro Scooters. Today, I kind of wanted to throw you guys just a little bit of a curveball when it comes to trick tip tutorials. I've spent a long time competing, I've traveled the world, and one of the few things that I've learned that helps just about everybody out there is pumping, pre-coiling, and execution. Three most important aspects to not just landing the contest run the way you want to, but also just getting the trick done the way you want to. So, I kind of want to run through these three steps, show you guys how they've helped me, and see if they can help you as well. See? All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Chris, why are we going over something as basic as pumping? Well, let me break it down for you. So pretty much, why do we need to go backwards on a bike? Well, how are you gonna learn half cabs if you can't first ride fakie, right? How are we supposed to boost a proper trick air if we can't freaking pump all the energy out of that quarter, right? So let's go ahead and take one little look on this quarter pipe right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my legs and my arms. It's a whole body exercise, okay? I'm not just using my legs. I'm using my whole body to push all my energy back into the ramp to try and absorb all of that momentum forward, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look over here on this quarter. All right, guys, so I wanna show you the other extreme first before I show you the proper way to drop in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buckle my legs down, but I'm not gonna give anything back into the ramp. You're gonna see that all the energy is gonna get absorbed, but then it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna stay inside my body, and I'm not gonna get any extra feet. In fact, I'm gonna lose speed. So go ahead and take a look. You ready? I'm gonna absorb. Boom. I'm not going anywhere, right? I bent my legs, I bent my arms, and I absorbed all that energy, all that momentum into my body. Okay, now this time, I'm gonna do the same thing, but now I'm gonna push it back into the, into the ground, okay? So I'm gonna absorb, 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 but then right at the bottom of the transition, push it all back in, try and get as much speed as I can to get to my trick, okay? difference between absorbing um, energy and then giving energy back into the ramp okay so if you want to get speed and if you want to get as high as you can you're gonna have to give back to the ramp okay that's kind of what I'm trying to explain here with the first step and that's pumping okay let's go ahead and go to number two all right guys so let's go ahead and move on to step number two second most important process to not just getting those tricks done the way you want to but just overall riding structure and this is the jump I call it pre-coiling but a lot of people just say jump and that's when you get to the top of the ramp okay the reason I say pre-coil is because you're coiling up all this energy in your legs you're building up all this momentum your legs are bent your arms are bent you're like this ball of energy now when you get to the top of the quarter pipe you're taking all that energy Energy, pushing it back into the ramp and then boom you're flying off of the quarter pipe okay this is how we combat high speeds with quarter pipes that can't handle that much transition a steep quarter pipe you're fine you can be flying a quarter pipe a little bit more mellow like this you're gonna need to jump at the top of the ramp or pre-coil okay let's see what that looks like All right, step one, step two, done. Let's go ahead and move into the most important one, and that's execution. All right guys, execution. Final step of this three-step process, okay? We have our pumping, very important. Not just gonna help you with, with the one trick, it's gonna help you with every trick. We have our pre-coil, not just gonna help you with what I'm about to do, but it's gonna help you with everything you're about, you're gonna do. Now we're on to execution. Now, this is where it starts to get really important. We kind of have to slow down. What I say to kids is I say stop and think, okay? Because when it comes to execution, it's more of a mindset than it is a physical thing, okay? You're pretty much trying to take your imagination of what you're about to do and put it into reality the best way you can. First stop, or the first part of that is having a good idea of what you're doing, right? So take your time, stop and think, right? Decide what you're doing, figure out what shoulder's pulling and how hard, and get to know the ramp, build a relationship with the ramp, figure out the trick, get a good idea of what it's gonna feel like in your head, and then boom, pump, pre-coil, execute, baby. Let's go ahead and try and get all these three steps, put them in line, show you guys what I'm trying to say. All right. There we go. Not the best execution, but it's 
sometimes an improper performance actually gives you guys more to work with when it comes to lessons. So I got the drop in, right? I pumped as hard as I could, used my legs and my arms, okay? Then I pumped up the second transition with my legs and my arms. Remember, it's a whole body thing. When I reached the top of the quarter pipe, I pre-coiled my whole body, I yanked my shoulder with all the energy I could possibly have, but only because in my head, I knew what I was trying, okay? I've done the five flare before, I sat here, I messed with the quarter pipe for a few minutes, and boom, just like that, I was able to get the trick that I wanted to get, okay? So, I'm sorry I'm out of breath, but I talk quickly, because I have so much to tell you guys, so I hope you guys are able to understand all of what, I, what I've got to say. Pump, pre-coil, execute. Have a good one, you guys.